everybody. I'm just working on getting ready for a pickup game today, um, and I thought I would stream getting some of this other stuff ready. So let me show you uh, kind of where I've started before I thought maybe I should stream this. Okay, I'm going to drag this other window over here if it will let me. All right. So I'm going to put this other window here. Uh, I have opened up the champion source book and <clears throat> we're going to run Ogre today. So I have gone into the PDF and I have right clicked and copied this. We're going to make a custom figure in Tabletop Simulator for this. So I've copied that and then I have put it in uh, Paint Shop. Let's see, Paint.net is where I'm at, uh, which is a free program. So let me expand this. And what I did is I, I uh, let me back up. When you paste, when you paste in, uh, it prints, uh, it, it kind of gives you this whole thing right here. So I basically grab the magic wand. I want to get rid of this background and make it transparent. So I had to turn the tolerance way down because when it was up higher, it kind of just took over the whole picture. So I turned the tolerance way down until it was just the outline of the background and then I just delete it and that creates this alpha channel background so tr transparency and uh, then I'm just gonna save it so I am live in a discord as well right now just uh, in the hero uh, the hero discord case anyone pops in. We're getting ready for a game, so I think we'll run the game from there so people can pop in and, and listen or, or whatever. Uh, okay, so I've got this. I'm going to now save it, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to import it. So I'm going to do a save as, and let's find a good place for it. So I have a, a folder. Let's see. I'm just going to put it, I think, I have a TTS stuff folder. And so I'm going to save a PNG. Ogre.png. Actually, I want to do ogre front. So I'm going to do ogre underscore front PNG. So you can see I've got other characters in here as well <clears throat> I hit save and I just all the standard settings for a ping are fine so just click OK and now I want to make the back of ogre so I'm going to uh, actually use a different tool just because it's easier I'm gonna use Snagit um, which is a tool I use for screenshots all the time, but it has a great blur feature that I like to use for the backgrounds. So I'm going to launch Snagit, and then we'll grab that front image and get it into Snagit. So we launch the Snagit editor. All right, this is a cool tool that I use for a lot of stuff because it's easy to use. So let me pull this over here. So this is a city street background that I was doing but uh, I grab screenshots with it all the time for work and for normal home stuff so let's go open okay so I'm gonna open and I'm gonna go to my TTS stuff and my champions TTS stuff and let's find ogre he's in here he's in here somewhere There he is. All right. So I'm going to open him up in here. All right. So we've got this nice little ogre transparent. The first thing I'm going to do is reverse the picture. So I'm going to flip horizontal. <clears throat> and pretty sure. arrange flip horizontal okay and then I'm just gonna apply a blur effect so 
Let me go to more, blur, and then over here I'm going to choose pretty significant blur. I'm just going to drag it over him. So that's good. Now I want to put his name on here also. So I'm going to grab a text uh, feature and he's got kind of some green so I could customize it anyway but I want to do a... we'll just grab this red letter but we're going to change the color to green like this one probably. Okay, so now I'm going to create this uh, thing here and I'm going to type in uh, with really big font size, uh, 36 maybe, maybe bigger, in all caps so it's very easy to see. Um, let's make it bigger. So, how about that? Maybe, can I go one more without getting crazy? Yeah, alright, so I'm going to put that right at the top. This is going to be on the back side so it just is very clear who this is and Snagit has these little guidelines that show me when I'm centered on the image it puts a little snap line so I know it now it's centered on the image okay so then I'm gonna save this so um, save it as a file back to the same place this is called ogre underscore back and it's also a JPEG. I don't want that. I want a ping because I want the uh, I want the transparency to be preserved. So hit save. So now I've got the two assets sitting there waiting for me. So let's close that. Inside of TTS, I'm going to create a new object, component, custom, and then I'm going to grab a. Uh, figuring. Now there's kind of this weird buggy thing um, <clears throat> when we're going to use the uh, stats thing I'll show you in a minute. Uh, it does a it does it backwards for some reason. Uh, so I'm not sure if the figurine is backwards but I think the figurine is backwards. So the front image isn't really front it's back and the back image isn't really front. I mean back it's front. So I'm going to put the back image in the front. So I'm going to click here and we're going to go find my TTS folder, which I guess is going to have to navigate here to find it. So I think it's uh, under users. And it's actually on OneDrive. So go grab that. That way I can work on stuff on my laptop too. Come on. You know you want to. server password so we got a player getting ready to join now we're getting close to my 10 o'clock start time I said I would start at so all right so now I've got to go down to TTS stuff and then champions TTS stuff and let's find ogre Okay, so we're going to put Ogre back on the front. And so when you grab it off your um, <clears throat> off your desktop, you, get, you need to load it up into the cloud. And so you want to put your assets up where they can be accessible in a group game. Now we're going to do the same thing with the back image. I'm going to go. Sometimes the pointer's funky on this. Wow, 
Why? So everything else works, but I can't click that. Why is that? Okay, so for right now, I'm going to put... Grab this and put it in here just so I can save it. I can't even save that. Why? Or maybe because there's a player loading in. Maybe that's it. <clears throat> okay, so then again, we need to navigate. Oh, we're there already. So we're going to just go down to. This is the front image to go on the back and upload it to the cloud and that's correct all right and then we hit import and we now have an ogre maybe <clears throat> maybe we have to wait for it to upload I had to move the window all right so now <clears throat> we have this token and this is what he looks like from the back. He's this blurred out <clears throat> dude. And then when we hop him around to the front, there he is. All right, so we've got an ogre. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'm going to set up the bars on ogre and i've already got my character loaded uh if i can do that it means i can probably okay so i'm going to explain for viewers that are i don't have uh, on my brand new twitch channel that doesn't, nobody even knows exists um i'm mostly doing this to source for like training bits so oh, that's cool. you put the uh, token on the creator and turn it on. It gives you this control panel. And the first thing you want to do is go into read permissions and you want to adjust who can see the, the bar. So in this case, uh, we leave spades on because that's kind of like the DM channel and allows people to switch teams to, to spades and then they can see the bars it's usually really for training purposes you would probably turn this off um, and then we just leave game master and we turn off blue so blue can't see his bars and then we go to edit permissions these are people who can change and push the buttons again we turn off blue we have the game master and we turn off hearts so that the hearts team can't do this usually players come in and they'll be I think on the hearts team by default and then we've got the bars that are already set and so these are what's going to show up on their body sun endurance rounds and clips so i'm going to leave these here so i don't have to add them later because then you have to pick a color and all that stuff so i leave them and and just ignore them on the sheet so um we're ready to add so i think this looks good so we're going to go up here to add and we're going to click add and his bars show up okay so now we can keep track of Ogre, and uh, I just need to go in and put in his stuff. So uh, if we click this uh, sprocket, it gives us that bars sheet that we were looking at before. Okay, so body 20 and 20. Stun. I'm just using the sheet over here. 74 stun. Good luck knocking that turkey out. Uh, and then endurance. 65. And 65. And then I'm just going to take off rounds and I can't. I can't get rid of them. Do, 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 do. I think so. Oh yeah, the X. Okay. 
and then hit the X and now we've got a cleaned up progress bar except I forgot to do for some reason it didn't update there 20 and 74 all right so he's got his little bars there's a good token to use right there. So we'll turn it off and tidies it up. Okay, so that is how you would get a full character ready to go. He's